So I just finished designing this flyer over here and something just dropped in my mind. This image entirely here, this image, okay. I got it from a website that you can use to generate any image of your choice. You know, finding images for your designs can sometimes be very daunting. So I got a couple of different ones. I tested them out and I finally concluded with this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to generate such images or any other type of image for your flyer designs or for your designs. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So the website that we are going to use is called ImageFX and the link is labs.google.fx. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to follow. Basically, this website just allows you to put in a prompt and then it generates an image for you. But the caveat is that Putting in the prompt to get exactly what you want can be very difficult. And that is what I'm going to teach you how to do in this video. So the first thing you need to have an idea about is what type of image that you want. The moment you do that, you can then proceed to the next step. To be on the safer side, this is what I do. So you visit any of the very popular stock image sites like freepick.com. You can use stock images. You can use any popular stock image site. And then you can see that this image has been labeled very well. What you do is you're going to just copy this. So portrait of a beautiful African woman with towel on head smiling. Okay. I don't want the resting in spa parts because I want my image to be standing. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this. It gives you a clear idea of what you generally want and then you go back to image effects so over here you're going to paste that so if you look at my prompt over here portrait of beautiful african woman towel on body and on head so you realize that i inserted on body over here so that some of the towel will be on the body and some will be on the head the first one said it should be on the head so you just make sure that you are very specific about what you're putting in in there. Don't worry about English. Don't bring your English degree here. Just make it as vague as possible. Anything you want in the image. So on body, on hair, smiling, standing, holding a shampoo, cool picture in a washroom, showing a bit of body. You can see that this is very detailed and as such, it will help the AI to get an idea of what you want so it generated like four images for me so you can see this one there is this one and there is this one as well so that you can choose from any of them i'd already generated a couple of them also so let, let me go back so you can see so there's another prompt and it generated different images for me here this is another prompt also so you see as i told you if you make it very specific and very detailed it gets you exactly what you want now let's go back to the popular stock sites like Freebig and get another prompt and let me show you. So let's just assume you are going to design something for a seamstress or a tailor or a fashion designer. Okay. Once you put in a seamstress over here, it's going to generate like images, different images for you. These are some images that you can actually think of. So let's go for this one. So this one says two African dressmaker woman so close on, on sewing machine. So there is two African. We don't want two uh, two people. Let's go for just one person. All right, this one. Okay, so beautiful African American tailor woman sewing laces. All right, so let's copy this beautiful African American tailor sewing. There are other options over here as well. Then you go, you come to image effects and then you are going to pay, paste this. Now, generally, if we just put in this, this should be able to generate something for us. Okay, so let's generate it here. This is going to take some time. Now, look at this. So you see that we have this one over here. We have this, we have this, and we have this. You can even tailor it to make it go back to, so beautiful African-American tailor woman standing in her shop and let's take off this suit so in let's go on create now you do, do, do you get the idea so you can see that it just picks the prompt and then it tailors it around something this is just AI this is imaginary and this is amazing let's do one for a plumber and see African male plumber repairing toilets so let's just change the toilet to like a sink so we go here and then we put in African African male plumber repairing a sink. Okay, and generate. So over here, it's giving us an old woman, which we 
wouldn't probably like okay so you can as well add african young african male plumber repair so that you don't get any image related to like early or an older person just young guys you can even describe to the extent of the hair the type of hair the person should the person should have or any other thing the person should have so with this website anytime you are about doing a flyer and you have no idea where to get images for your flyers you can come over here put in the prompt make it very detailed and you should be able to get your hands around something that you can use for your flyers so once you get what you want you can just click on the download button over here and then you can use it in your project so this is one of the pictures that i used in my project and once you get into photoshop and brighten the image you can do anything that you want to do with this one as well by the way let me know in the comment section if you want to see a full tutorial of this flyer right over here and if you get many comments on this i can actually make a tutorial on this as well this is part of the the walkthrough series that i'm just starting i'm just going to walk you through several things that you need to know how to get backgrounds how to get images how to get resources in no particular order just a quick walkthrough let me know if you want more of this and thanks so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye